every once in a while, the power at my house goes off and it can be very frustrating. It doesn't matter if it's a storm or maybe someone hit a telephone pole or just something happened and the power goes out. In the daytime, it doesn't really bother me, um, but at night is where it can get pretty dark. Now, I do have a generator. It's just a little generator and I can run some cords through the house and power certain items, but I can't get to every room and some of the rooms, honestly, are dark. And so I'm thinking, what can I do in cases of an emergency? And then I had an idea. Whew, what's that? We're going to look at this today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. And my channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like it. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click that bell so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's take a closer look at these light bulbs by Jack and Lux and see if they can help us out. There's a funny story behind this. So I wasn't actually planning on getting these. I honestly never even heard about them, but I went to the Bulbhead website to track an order that I had placed a while ago, and this one just happened to be on there. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I'll order that. So it came in a brown paper package. It was not tied up with string. Um, so this is made by a company called Jack and Lux, and what they are is they're rechargeable LED light bulbs, okay? So let's dig into this box. I purchased it for around 18 bucks or so. Um, all right, so if we pull this out, we can take out what looks like our directions. We'll set that over there. And then, oh, what do I have in here? I have, I'll make sure I don't break anything. All right, so I have a large light bulb, another large light bulb, and there's some other pieces in here. We'll be interested to figure out what this is. So we have what looks to be some sort of hanging things. And then I'm not sure what this is, but I do see what looks like a plug. Um, first, I want to show you the difference between these bulbs and a traditional light bulb. Okay, so they are much bigger. They have a bigger profile. From what I understand, they have smaller ones too, um, but these are the ones that I have. So just so you know, this is the size. So it may not fit in every um, light fixture. Let me read the directions and I'll come back and explain what these are. So these are even cooler than I thought they were. I thought they were like those old lights that you had that were just in a unit and that's it and you couldn't use them at all. These actually go in lamps, right? You actually screw this into a lamp and use it during the day and, and it's charging when it's using. That is really, really cool. Um, they say it takes about six to eight hours to charge this. So we're gonna do that in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you. Um, you can either put this in a lamp or if the power goes out, you can put them in one of these connectors that came with it, and there's a button on the bottom. You just click it and turn the light on just like that. That's really, really neat, okay? So I thought that was cool, but then I thought, what is this? This is weird. I'm looking forward to showing this part off. So if you want to leave your light bulb in a lamp, the power goes out, you unplug the lamp and plug it into here, and I guess, I haven't tried it, but I guess the lamp still works. That is cool. So these do have a charge from the factory, but I'm going to run them for about eight hours just to give them the full test. And then I want to see how long it takes before they go completely dead or to where the light doesn't help me anymore. You charge this by just screwing it into a regular lamp. They say it takes about six to eight hours um, to fully charge. The directions say if you run it three to four hours a day, it takes two days to charge. But I'm going to run this and just see how long it lasts after it charges. But that's all it does. It's just like a typical lamp during the day. You can turn it on, you can turn it off. Now they do say um, it is only charging when it's turned on. I would love to get your input on this. What do you think about these Jack and Lux emergency light bulbs? Is this something you think you should use in your house? Don't need it, it's a ripoff, too expensive. You have them? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. So here I have just a regular bedside lamp. I wanted to show you something if I could. Um, 
I have the lamp liquid sticking out of the top. It's my light bulb. So this is a small, small lamp um, for this big, gigantic light bulb. But this is what I wanted to show you, okay? I have the plug wrapped around it right here, right? So there's this is the plug. All right, so I'm going to use their little adapter and plug it in. It doesn't seem to have one size. Oh, did you see that? The light just came on with the little adapter thing attached. That is pretty cool. I can turn it off. I can turn it on. And it's not even plugged into anything. I really like this feature. Now, let me ask a quick question, right? I'm a logical person. Let me turn this light off. Why did I only get one of these little plugs when I have two light bulbs? I got two of these adapters, but only one plug because I would use the plug part more than I would use this. Anyway, just my two cents. So this one's been um, running on battery for about two hours. It does get dim over time. This one right here is still plugged into power. And of course, this one I have just in my hand. Um, so I just wanted you to note that although it is still working, the light is getting dimmer. So this light has been running over two hours and although it looks like it's pretty good it has gotten really really dim this one i just took off the charger or off the lamp watch the difference i'm going to turn it on it makes it look like this one's not even on see the brightness you get about 90 minutes or so of light before they get dim almost too dim to even use We've been looking at the Jack and Lux emergency light bulb that I found by mistake. I wasn't even looking for it. That's kind of cool. Let me tell you what I like about this. I like that this is an actual light bulb. Makes sense, right? It looks like a light bulb. It probably should be a light bulb. I can put this in my lamp and it turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, and it works like a light bulb. That's cool. A lot of these emergency devices you're not supposed to use every day and you just store them away in a closet and if the power goes out you stumble trying to find it in the dark where this one is right where it should be the company actually recommends using this in a lamp that you will use every day because when it's on is when it's charging and therefore if the power goes out or when the power goes out this is ready to go because it's been charging right that makes sense so don't use it in a lamp you don't ever use they did say it takes six to eight hours of charge. That's something that you should know. My wife pointed out something interesting to me, right? So she is really particular about the light bulbs we have in the house. And this is no joke. We go to the store, we buy light bulbs, bring them back to the house. Whoa, those are no good. We take them back to the store, get different light bulbs, and we're, you know, until they have the perfect light bulb. So she does not like those new LED light bulbs that really are bright and blue she doesn't like that. She likes the more calming ones that are sort of like earth tony. And that's what this one is. You notice that from the video earlier in this video, it's a softer light. Sure, it looked bright because it was right next to the camera, but it's more of a soft glow. And she mentioned that she liked that and would use these in the living room, which is a big deal. Let me tell you some of the things that I don't necessarily care for. I don't like that I only got one of these. That's frustrating to me, right? Because I have two light bulbs and for me and my use, when the power goes out, it, this bulb is going to stay in the lamp where it is. And I need this really quick, but I need it twice. This is a neat feature, this little screw-on thing. It's cool. I guess if you're camping and you want to hang this, maybe. Um, people say you can use it as a flashlight. I get it. For me, it's going to be the light bulb in the living room or the den or wherever. So I need at least two of these. Also, Jack and Lux, seriously? No tab, nothing on here where I can attach this to my plug. If you're watching this, next generation of this should have a little loop that I can just hook this right to my cord of my lamp. Because honestly, I'm going to lose this. It's small and little. It's going to be dropped somewhere and gone. Next time around, that'd be a great addition. You can call it the Jeff Reviews for You edition. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I also didn't like the length of time the light worked where I could use it, right? I got about 90 minutes after an eight hour charge. Now you might think, well, that's okay. 
because realistically the power goes out you're not going to be up that late yeah but if the power is out for days well what happens this is great if the power goes out for a few hours and it's back in on in the morning but the length of time that 90 minutes of usable time now it stayed on for a few hours but it got so dim that I had to go up to things and almost touch it with the light bulb to be able to read or see what it was. That's a con that I did not like. Anyway, this was my review of the Jack and Lux Emergency Light Bulb. This was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. Make sure you don't get caught in the dark. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Jack and Lux Emergency Light Bulb. I did do some research and they offer this in a daylight, which is not the one I have, and a soft light, which is the one I have here. So I will link both of those down in the description if you're interested. I'll have one being the daylight and one being the soft light. You know what? Not that long ago, I did a review of a water bottle and it's becoming spring and summertime and all. we need to be drinking more water. This is called Ice Water's Smart Water Bottle. This water bottle actually changes colors to let you know it's time to drink some water. Um, it has a cool little speaker, just pulsates lights and all that fun stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link this review right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. Make sure you're logged into YouTube so you see this rectangle and I don't look like a crazy person. Um, so go ahead, click it. I'll meet you over there. It's safe, I promise.